Hey, welcome back. I want to talk to you about how we can add some background shading to our headers or text editor or basically anything where you have text in a really, really simple way. Now, let me just show you the problem and then I'm going to very quickly go over the solution. This will not take long. You've got a header, okay? You've got some black text and you now want to give it a black background with white text, but you only want it to be on the lettering or the header. You don't want it to be the full background. Let me show you what I mean. If I go over to this text right now and I go to say the advanced and I go to background and I then pick a color of, let's just go with a, uh, a gray color there so you can see that. It goes across the full stretch of the section. If I make this section be or the column even be say uh, 600, that's the effect you get. Of course, if I now was to add in another column, again, it's still, like, I'm just getting across to you, right, that, you know, it's still going to be filling up more than what you really need it to be. Because, look, you've got this, like, extra grey bit to the right there. And it's not looking as fantastic, right? Okay. Now, what if we want to change that? Now, there's the, the simplest way, which is what a lot of people do, and I'm going to show you the problem here. If you go over to your header, and we've already shaded the background, if you go to advanced, and you go to positioning. This is not the solution, by the way, we're still on the problem. You go to the positioning and we change this to be custom. Can you see now it has shrunken it? And you might look at that and go, well, hey, job done. We've now got it looking how we want. And I could go into here, go to advanced, and I could give it a bit of padding. I might say, give me about, uh, give me about five, uh, we'll go with 10, five at the bottom, we'll go with 10 there. There we go, we got some padding. Hey, look, that's great, that's fantastic. But there is still a problem with this. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to go over to the text. I'm just going to actually, um, I'm just going to do this. Okay, right. Can you see the problem here? What it's doing is, because the text is that long, I'm getting this massive grey bar at the bottom. Can you see what I mean there? And even if I start to shrink or mess around with the size of that column, you know, if I had more than one column in there or I mess around with the section width, I'm still going to get this grey bar at the bottom until the point where you're going to start to mess around with what you are trying to achieve. There is a really simple way to solve this. And what I'm going to show you works on headers, text editor, and basically anywhere where you get to add in a bit of code. And the code is really, really simple, everyone, okay? Because the other thing also I need to mention is what if you only want to highlight, say, the text over here, right? There are plugins out there that offer this facility to you, but you don't need a plugin to do this. So I want all of the text to be a white background except that text there that I've highlighted. Again, how are you going to do that? Let me show you. Okay, so we're going to now do the solution. So let's just take a copy of this text over here. And we'll move it to the top just so we can see it in view a bit better. Let's get rid of this one. So we've got our text here, right? Okay. And over here, I'm going to change this one to be highlight me. Okay. Like so. There we go. Highlight me. So you can see the word highlight me. There it is. And it's actually stretching over onto two lines. I'm going to show you what this does. Okay. What we do is we go in and where we normally have the title, we're now going to get rid of that and replace it with a bit of code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that text. So let's go over the solution. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow because we love having you. Now here's the code and it looks complicated, but please do not worry about it. I will explain it. We have this, well, we start off with paragraph and it ends with paragraph, but we start with XXX. This is the text that you're going to show where there is no background shading to it. Okay, so this will follow whatever is the color scheme that you've set for your text or your header, okay? We then have span style, and the background color is gonna be, what is the background color? I have picked here, FF000, that is red. That is red, okay? I then said color, FFFFF, FFFFFF is white. So the background color is gonna be a red color, and the text color is gonna be white. Background color, color. OK, I've then said NBSP because I'm adding in a space. By the way, you don't have to have that. Um, you could actually get rid of that. So I'm actually going to get rid of it just to show you what it looks like. OK, let me just get rid of this bit here. I will be putting this code in the description as well. We then have XXX. This is going to get this is going to basically follow what we've just said with regards to the background color and the color. And then we have close span. 
Now this all sits within like the span tag or whatever you want to call it. Background colour, font colour and what is the text affected. And then we'll have any other text that sits outside. So let's just go over here and paste in our text. I'm going to pick up all of this here, add your heading text here and I'm going to dump it there. I'm then going to pick up highlight me and I'm going to dump that into here. We can see what's happening. And I'm now going to pick what came after the highlighted text, which is the next bit of the text. And I'm going to stick that over here. Right? I mean, that's pretty, pretty simple, I think. Let me just copy that. If I now go back over to my title, and remember, text editor, you do this in the text tab, um, uh, or however you want to do it. Now, if I dump that in there, look at that. Add your heading text here. And now it's highlighting what I've said. I've still got a white background and I've still got my text. So let me just go over to style. And I'm going to change my text to be a orange color. And I'm actually going to change the, let's just change the weighting. Let's just make it a 400, okay? If you want to change, if you want to apply a different weighting, you could go into here and start, oops, sorry, wrong one. Where am I, where am I? Over here. You could add it into here as well. So whatever sits inside the style or the span style, Whatever sits before here, before the text, that is going to be applied, okay? So can you see now the highlight, let me just undo that. So the, black, the black text looked better, didn't it? There we go. So where we have the highlight me, the red is very close up against the edge of it. And that is why if I go into the content, what I tend to do is where it says highlight me, I will add in a, um, I will add in the and, uh, let me get that right. Uh, where is it? Where is it? And N B S P. So I get the space there, and then I will pick that up and S, and I'll just add it after the dot as well. Normally, you can just add in a space, and it works. But if you want to be very like clinical with it, just add in the and S N S B S P, whatever it was. N B S P. So why do I get this wrong? N B S P. Right. So that now means it's highlighted and. You know, I mean, you can mix this up, by the way. So I'm going to now pick up span again. OK, I'm going to pick up all of that span bit and I'm now going to drop it. Um, I'm going to drop it before the paragraph is closed. So I'm going to put a full stop there and do that again. I'm now going to like change this to be like uh, highlighting again. Me, me, me. You know, like that. Look, so now you can actually do a background color on your text without falling foul of this problem here, okay? And this text, uh, there is no, let me just go to positioning. It is a normal positioning. And I could even go over here. Uh, I mean, if you start to do a, I mean, if you do a background color, you're gonna have the problem again with the gray, but you could have multiple colors going on here. I mean, I've just done it really quickly, but if I go over here to the second one and I change this to be double O, double O, double O, double O, F, F, I'm gonna get blue. So depending on your hex codes, you can style it. And what I really love about this, okay, is, and I really, really do want to show you this, is um, if I make the, if I just make the text here, where we have the highlight me, the very first one, stay with me on this, people. Don't, don't run away yet. I'm just going to do this, right? You're getting this blocky text, but just wait. If I go to style and I go to typography and I go to line height, watch this. You now get that little bit of like spacing between the highlighted so it stands out a bit better. So this is working for me so much more better than just having your standard lucky background on the text. Simple, simple code. It will be in the description. Look, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. And I hope that helps you out. You take care.